Hi guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Today I wanted to do a video of like my recent favorite things because I saw this other girl on here doing like her winter favorites and I thought that was so cute and so fun and so I want to do it too. Um yeah, that's that's about it, you know. Just just want to have fun here. I'll I'll link the video I like took the entire concept from <laughs> in in the bio so you can you can check her out as well cuz the video was good. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm going to start with my recent favorite books. So like last school year around December I got back into reading after like I don't know the entirety of my middle school years where all I read was um the school books because I didn't have any like yeah I used to be a huge bookworm in, in like primary school. I would carry like big ass books, like thick like this. And my friends would make fun of me and be like, haha, you read like dictionaries and shit. Like, shut the fuck up, okay? It was good. It was um, the series Ruby Rose or some shit. And she was like a spy. She was like the super smart kid who did spy things. And all of the puzzles that were used in the book and that she solved were explained at the end of the book so you could actually like they were real puzzles so it was really really nice um anyway yeah sorry <laughs> i got back into reading and it's very fun actually um i started reading like in class all the time um that was pretty much the only time i would read or on the train to go to school except this year i haven't been going to school as much because i'm like a serial skipper which sucks but you know that's what happens when you just have lots of problems but i have started reading a few books this year including um perfume by patrick suskind suskind i don't know how to pronounce his name i'm so sorry but the main character his name is jean baptiste grenouille which it, it, his the character is french and Jean-Baptiste Grenouille is such a funny fucking name like when I was reading it to my mom like the first chapter we kept fucking cracking up because why is his name Jean-Baptiste Grenouille so I, I I think it's it's a very entertaining read it's a bit odd it's a bit odd and I like odd books it's it's about this guy who's growing up and he has a very developed sense of scent like his sense of scent is the the best in the world, basically. And he doesn't smell of anything, which is creepy to a lot of people, very unsettling. Um, and he just, he loves collecting scents as he, you know, grows up. He's just making this big collection in his mind. He can, like, mix them up in his head, make up perfumes, basically. Yeah, so right now I'm just, you know, at a point in the book where he's finally getting to use that gift kind of but also he's obsessed with the scent of a young innocent virgin so <laughs> that, that's the scent he wants to capture apparently it's the best in the world so he's obsessed he's obsessed and he's he's really creepy and murderous so yeah but good book good book really well written another thing that might be a favorite like I, it's it's on its way is uh this book titled say nothing it's about a murder that happened in northern ireland in the 1970s and also kind of a look into the troubles that happened the troubles is like a part of irish history like a big part so yeah um pretty good book I love historical nonfiction. One of my favorite books ever in my whole entire life. Um, I found when I was in middle school and it's titled Unbroken. Um, and it's about this Olympian who was a runner and he got drafted into the war. I forgot if it was World War One or World War Two, probably two. And yeah, you just follow him as he goes through like the most horrific experience and it's very good like it's a terrific book and the texture 
of the specific edition I had was the best thing to touch. I loved it. So get the specific edition that I will be putting on the screen now because it's so good. It's so soft in like the most perfect way i love it anyway yeah okay next recent favorite is not recent at all but it's it's a good book okay um it's titled sirens and muses and i read it in 2023 but late 2023 so i'm like still kind of counts um depending on you know what you think recent is it's like a book with uh, multiple points of view so you get Luisa who's an art student and Karina they're all artists but um Karina who's her roommate I'm like it's a little gay um and it's really really good and then there's um some fucking guy his name is uh Preston no offense to any Prestons but it yeah his name is Preston and he's like kind of a kind of a douchebag really like he's just he's the frat boy of art schools basically um and then you have one teacher his name is robert and he's he's there he's a guy i don't know i actually really like him um yeah but i don't yeah and it follows these four people uh who all like hang around the same school but they're not all from the same backgrounds blah 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 and like their journeys their relationships basically to each other and i think it's like a really really like i keep saying really really good book i know okay i don't have the best vocabulary i don't know what happened to me except i do it's because i stopped reading in middle school i used to have the best vocabulary and now boom went down keep reading kids the next book i'm gonna show you it's a book I have read absolutely zero words in, but I have looked at the pictures. <laughs> it's the magic book. Um, it's a book all about magic. <laughs> like magic as in magicians and shit, like from circuses. And um, you just get to see a bunch of art. This is kind of giving Art Nouveau, like it's cute. And then you just get to see different people, different things. Like this random lady escaping from a lion and then there's a guy and there's little devils down there. I don't know, okay? It's a bit weird, but it's really nice to look at. It's like great if you want to, you know, make up a story or characters or write anything about, you know, the circus and magicians not the circus just magicians or if you just want to look at nice photos and images and drawings so yeah now an actual book i read this year and you might be wondering oh my god gala you managed to finish a book what was it was it like a great philosophical thesis explained and blah blah, blah? no those were last year this year i'm not reading as well um, I read The Hobbit. I read it to my little brother, which like, you might be thinking, oh, is he like a five-year-old? No, he's 16. I just, I like reading out loud. So um, my family is subjected to my readings. I feel really bad for them. But you know, it's okay. I'm moving out next year, so they won't need to suffer too long. Um, The Hobbit. This book, like this specific book, is older than I am and it's like the same age I think around uh, as the Lord of the Rings collection that my dad has which is how I got my name yep 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 my dad is a nerd and it's genetic so it was it was great it was a great book what can I say I really enjoyed it so I miss reading this to be honest like every night I would tell my brother hey time for the hobbit and i'd be so excited because it's such a good book um it also made me yawn a lot like this this is a true bedtime story because why was i like on the verge of falling asleep every single second every page i was like oh, okay and then gandalf said oh. like be for real um so next we've got the songs so for songs i prepared a playlist because why not um i have 
two albums I want to give out and then a few songs because yeah so lately because it was winter and I was like really sad <laughs> I was fully into Ethel Kane mode so the two songs I've been listening to most by her were Inbred and Golden Age oh my god I love Golden Age and also uh, I don't know how to pronounce this oh my god but Michelle Pfeiffer 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 I think it's Pfeiffer Michelle Pfeiffer okay yeah anyway love this song because it reminds me of my best friend ever and also because one the, the first line is everything's easier way out west and my dream school in ireland is west of france where i am right now and so i'm like oh my god like yeah literally me but i just ch check out everything guys check it check it out all out like she is so good anyway favorite songs recent favorite songs do 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 recent faves okay I have Ophelia by Harvey. Uh, she's this singer who makes a lot of very like whimsical music about girlhood and stuff. And it's really like, I love her songs. Moon Girl is my personal favorite ever of hers, but she's recently been releasing a lot because um, an album is coming. So yeah, totally recommend her. She's just the best and I love her voice because it's so like, ooh. We have Michelle Pfeiffer. I had Visions as well by Loving, which like I used to listen to the song when I was younger and I really liked it. And I just, I found it again recently and I was like, ooh, so, so cool. Like I, I remember the song, I really liked it. And I like it more now because of the, I have a vision so clear in my head. It's a strange kind of vision. And it's like, yeah, literally me about my future i don't know i just because i always expected to go to art school and now i'm going to film school instead which is not that far off but still like it's not the same thing um and now i just have a totally different vision of my future which is cool but also kind of scary because i've want i've i've been saying i want to be an artist since i could talk so it's it's a big deal for me not that you can't be an artist if you make movies, like that is another form of art. What I mean is the type of art I thought I would be making, I'm not going to be anymore professionally. So that's a whole thing. Anyway, next on the list is Vienna by Billy Joel. I love this song. I've always loved this song because it's such a good song. Um, I've loved it ever since I was a young teen again I think I don't know I just found everything when I was a young teen and it reminds me of Before Sunrise the movie from 1995 I think uh, with Ethan Hawke and Julie Delpy and I watched it when I was on a plane from Paris to New York last summer and I was like oh my god this is like a movie about an American guy and a French girl and they like fall in love blah 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 and it's like a very ephemeral like relationship um it's just yeah it's i don't know i've always wanted to fall in love just for one day and so i was like ah oh, this is so cool i wish like i hope i'll like find someone there i did not but you know the dream was there and that's what counts next is 18 by biba doobie because i'm almost 18 and i'm fucking scared shitless because i don't I don't want to be an adult, like, at all. I want to live on my, like, my dream life would be being 11 years old, living alone in a little cabin in, like, the countryside with animals and a bike. But no, I can't. So <laughs> I have to be 18 with no animals. I mean, I have my cats, but when I meant animals, I meant, like, a lot of animals and no little house in the countryside but i do have a bike and i just i'm happy that Biba we made this song because i need to cope okay guys i need to cope uh i'm like freaking out shitting my pants in fear don't take that out of context actually all of these songs are kind of uh, like themed around me moving out or growing up so 
And the last one is I want to be adored by the stone roses um, because I, I just, I do. Okay, guys, I want to be adored. Adore me, please. Um, no. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I, I like the song and I do kind of want to. I don't want to be famous but like if i could be like that would be cool just for a bit like when i when people say 15 minutes of fame that truly is what i want like just just give me a bit and then i can have a bunch of money to live in a little house in the countryside Yee! but i really like the sound and there's like a minute before the song starts where you kind of have ambient noises of um not ambient i don't you know you just have noises from like a train station and i like it it like puts you in the mood I don't know I, yeah i usually don't love long silences before a song starts but this one is the only one where i'm like no i'm listening to this like for real even though i don't like train station noises when i'm at the station like in real life so i don't know and now for albums i have been loving the ladybird soundtrack because again moving out growing up senior year everything but also because Lady Bird is like my favorite movie ever and so occasionally I'll be like oh I want to listen to the soundtrack and then I do and it's just so good so yeah totally recommend my other album I've really been liking except for you know Ethel Kane's entire discography is The Boy with the Arab Strap by Bell and Sebastian it's such a good album okay guys you need to understand Belle and Sebastian are very near and dear to my heart. It's because springtime is coming and Belle and Sebastian are like peak spring and summertime, like listening people band. Look at the cover, is this guy not so cutie pie? Maybe not, I don't know. My friends tell me I have terrible taste in men. I don't know, I, I, like, I like the album. I love the album actually. Uh, my favorite song on it, I'm really basic guys. I love The Boy With The Arab Strap, um, I think it's a really good song. Another song I like of them that's not on this album, it's another one, is Like Dylan in the Movies. That's a great song. Um, I like Is It Wicked Not To Care and I like A Summer Wasting, so if you want to like listen to songs by them, listen to those or just listen to the whole album because the purists will tell you you should listen to the whole album in order. Um, I'm not a purist though, so do whatever you want. Now, my favorite hobby is collecting perfumes. My least favorite hobby is apparently keeping them in good shape. So, the perfumes I'm gonna show you, there's only three. Um, two of them are a bit bent up, and one of them is only a sample because I finished the one I had, and it's in the trash now okay my first favorite perfume i got this one in italy last summer because i was in a store and i saw the bottle and i was like this is the best bottle i've ever seen in my whole entire life i need to have it please 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 mum. and my mom was like okay so the miu miu eau de parfum i'm gonna put a different photo of like the actual like what the bottle is supposed to look like because what is this i'm allergic to being good at taking care of stuff but also that does mean that you know i love them very dearly and i did actually use them and take them because i carried this around in my school bag for like ever because i needed a perfume i think i'm just gonna like smell the perfume and then explain what i associate like a scene i associate with each scent because i'm so fucking bad at like smelling out the the sense in a scent so i am no jean baptiste grenouille but i am a galadriel and i will figure it out so for this one i see like a big house a big vacation house that's near some mountains but also near the sea and it's kind of like decorated with really old furniture but the windows have been open for so long that all of the old smell is almost dissipated and also there's a dog running in the yard and it's a black dog it's like not very big but it's got like little curls and it's really cute they've got like persian rugs yeah so that's the vibe of the eau de parfum by miu miu 
my next favorite perfume is <laughs> um, Thé Noir from Le Labo. Wait, let's, oh my god, makeup guru time. No, guys, focus, please. Okay, fucking refuses to focus, so we're just gonna have to, like, you know, trust me on this. Um, but it's it's a very nice perfume, guys. I promise. I'm gonna smell test it again to try and describe what it smells like, and then I'm gonna fail miserably, because it doesn't fucking smell like tea, okay? Like black tea. Tinoir gives me the vibes of a very remote place with like tall grass the grass is dark green and it's just rained or maybe it's still raining and the clouds are still gray up in the sky and there's a bunch of sheep eating in the pastures and someone's just died but people aren't that sad because they all saw it coming and i think that's what this smells like it's a really nice smell it's one of my favorites ever um i just yeah ow okay i just fucked up my nails but i did i did my nails they look really bad they look like little teeth ah. oh grandma what fine teeth you have i am so jealous next up is this the packaging is old it's not that old it's like a year old maybe i just i don't know guys okay i've i've been going through some shit and by going through some shit i mean carrying my bag around with this inside and it's been scratching up with every other thing in my bag so yeah these two these two basically these two scratched up against each other but it's a little like thing from the brand diptyque which, you know, is a perfume brand. They make um, candles and perfumes, like house perfumes. And they also make these, which are solid perfumes. Wow! Um, very portable, very practical. I don't think there's any alcohol in them. I'm not sure. And so they have these little things that are replaceable. There's a little hole there that you just poke and then the plate like lifts up and you can replace it. So. You just you buy the packaging but then if you want a different scent you can just buy a different little plate uh but i bought the doson packaging just because first off i love the perfume and second off i like the packaging and so you just you know rub your finger your greasy little finger <laughs> in the, the product and then you like dab it whatever you want and it's really nice and i like it a lot and it's pretty good if like you don't want to you know, risk your clothes getting sprayed with, like, alcohol. And now I'm going to tell you what it smells like in descriptions that don't make much sense to anyone except for me. Okay, this one kind of smells like a summer afternoon, but in a Ghibli movie. It's, like, kind of what you would imagine the wind to smell like and you would like take it all and put it into a little bottle and then opened it and that's what you know you would get kind of i don't know okay i'm really bad at describing scents but that that's one of my favorite perfumes ever in my whole life now i don't know if i have any other favorites oh movies and shows obviously okay i just realized i'm filming on my phone and my letterbox is on my phone so i can't fucking see um so we're just gonna go off of memory because this isn't scripted anyway so okay recent favorite movies um i watched bones and all really liked bones and all um i know some people can't take it can't take the gore i can take the gore so good movie um really good movie actually i i i almost cried i did not cry i'm really bad at crying at movies usually because i avoid like specifically like sad movies sad content i'm like no i don't want to watch this because i'm gonna be sad and i don't want to be sad um but here i watched it because i was like ooh, cannibalism <laughs> And, and so I did. Because I'm reading a book about the history of cannibalism right now. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a, it's, yeah. Anyway, I really, really liked 
the aesthetic. It actually made me want to like call my friends up in the US and be like, hey, could we go on a road trip? So you know, if you want like road trip vibes, that's the movie for you. Cool people. And also I have a massive crush on Taylor Russell, so that's, that's also part of it. Um, that was, yeah. Next, I like I liked Pearl a lot. I love the movie. I did not like X as much. Sorry X, sorry Ty West, but yeah, P Pearl and I are connected, uh, which is a very red flag femme cell thing to say. So forget I said that at all. In fact, I don't leave my house. The glasses, the hair, the spending all my time online. It's, it's not it's not painting me in the best light to be honest so eh. a movie I watched like way later than everyone else was bottoms it was so good it was so good guys oh it was one of the funniest fucking movies I've ever seen in my life I loved it okay so if you want laughter actual satire and lesbians go and are you a debris and Rachel sent it, so if you've seen Shiver Baby, if you've seen The Bear, like, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll like it, I think. Or at least you'll see actresses you like, if you liked the actresses. And then, recently I also watched this other movie, it was by the same guy who did Amélie Poulain, and it's called Delicatessen, and the way the people look and move, about and the costumes and the colors made it look so much like a clay or like stop motion movie but like very realistic like a hyper realistic stop motion movie which it's not it's live action but it just i don't know i i thought it was really cool overall really good movie i liked it a lot um yeah so those are my recent faves for the movie Apartment. And for shows, I'm terrible at watching shows actually because I start shit and then I never pick it back up. But uh, the last show I actually watched and finished was Scott Pilgrim Against the World. I think that's what the show is called. Oh, is that the movie? I forgot. But the animated show of Scott Pilgrim. And that was really good. It was really funny. I love the animation. And also, Scott, like, you know, being. Edo, um, might make a bunch of people be like, Ugh, I don't want to watch this guy. He's in only like three episodes out of eight. So actually, pretty good. Because the whole plot is basically just Ramona Flowers looking for him. So, you know, he's, he's not there. <laughs> so yeah, that's the one show I've actually finished. Anyway, hope you guys had a good time watching this very long video for not that much it's just me talking i should start a fucking podcast instead of doing this i also realized i was very close to the camera the entire time um just enjoy you know invading people's personal space apparently if anyone watches this video and is like haha that's true shut the fuck up <laughs> goodbye hope you guys have a good time oh last favorite thing jelly cats okay i know everyone's going crazy over jelly cats right now but for good reason okay these are the softest motherfuckers you're ever gonna touch in your life depends on the ones though because i had these two dogs i really really wanted from the website and then i like went to my favorite bookstore in paris um and they were selling them and so i got to touch them and the texture was horrible so i'm not buying them but these ones specifically like the ones that have this type of fur or this type of fur the best like this is the softest shit you're ever gonna touch in your whole entire life this guy um is named B after Biba Doobie because she has the same plushie. And then this guy is named Elijah after the lead singer of the band Inhaler. The, um, because he's cute. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye.